Let's look at breadboards now. So this is the breadboard that comes with the official Arduino kit and it's only a, a little one. And as we looked at before, it comes with some jumper cables. The way a breadboard works is there are these little holes that the pins can go into. And you can see there's a red stripe at either end and a, a black line. And that is because we call these the, the power rail. So there's positive and negative there. So power and ground, five volts, ground, whatever you want to call it. And so if you wanted to take power from one of these rails, you would put in a, one of these guys. and take it to wherever you wanted it. Now, the official kit has these staple type, which do make breadboard easier to read afterwards, but they're not the usual ones that people use. So let's have a look at the ones from the Elego kit. So in the Elego kit, there's these type, and uh, one of the things that I noticed is I like to use black for ground and uh, the official kit doesn't come with any black ones, not that I can tell anyway. So let's, let's put ground in. So I'll take from my ground. Like so. Now we haven't got any power going into that power rail, which is why we have to use either a battery or ex some form of external power, or we plug an Arduino into it. Oh, there we are. Look, we've got uh, black and red in the official kit. Just. Just these couple, but we haven't. So, what you might do is plug in a battery. So now we've got power in, we're drawing power we can plug in a LED. So this is one of those things that you should not do because I don't have a resistor in the way. But it'd go like this with the, the little leg is ground. But you'll notice that I didn't actually plug it where the pins are and that's because as well as the power going across each row is also connected so I could put that pin in any hole in that row and it would still be connected but there's a, a gap here so these are not connected to this side the top isn't connected to the bottom just to its own row and so for putting buttons in, that means that you can bridge the gap, like so. And that means this side isn't connected to that side, and that's, that's quite useful. You'll also see that there's gaps and nubs, so you can actually join these things together. Let's fix this and put a resistor in. So now we've got to constrain the juice going out of that power. So 
So we could plug in a battery right now. Uh, the only problem is this battery, this battery is nine volts. It'll blow that little LED pretty quickly, or at least reduce its life pretty quickly. So instead, what we can do is we can power the Arduino. There you can see we've got an LED lit up. But you'll notice there's an LED flashing on the board, and that's because pin 13 is connected to the onboard LED. So rather than just power it, what we could do see the default sketch on the UNO, it blinks pin 13. So that's how the breadboard works and it's our first circuit powered by a battery.